Hi everybody. Welcome to part three of my Let's Play of SimCity 4. Um, as you can see, I, I've just, uh, as I mentioned earlier, this mountain was very um, bad looking, and now I have went through and eroded it in the game with the uh, terraforming tools. So maybe it looks a little bit better. But I still see some seams right about here, so I'm hoping I can fix that somehow, maybe with the terraformer program. But anyway, what I'm going to be continuing here is this city tile, which I have not played since the last uh, episode. So I'll just load that up. Hopefully I'm talking loud enough in this and not mumbling or anything. <laughs> I kind of feel like I sometimes might be, but I'll try to be uh, loud enough in this video. <laughs> I'll turn this, turn on the sound here, get it off before. I usually turn it off if I'm listening to music with the while well, I'm playing the game. So anyway where I left off was making this parking garage next to the railway station and some development is already popping up around uh, the parking garage and the station so I think I'll just make this historical because this is a really nice apartment building and uh, it fills up that lot pretty nicely so I still am not seeing any industrial development in my uh, zoned area here because I only have high tech allowed I guess and that's not in demand either. Um my education level is uh you know pretty pretty uh starting level pretty low I guess. So I think it should be improving pretty soon or well not pretty soon but eventually over the years. I have one uh elementary school at the moment so the near future that should probably be enough because um, the sims are young well yes yeah, they're mostly young actually they're actually they're mostly college age I guess so I'd probably need to make a high school and a university thing is I'd I'd rather make the actual university and uh, not a regular college so I think I'll just hold off on making one of those for now and I'll make a high school. So I think this would be a good place to put it. There we go. And uh, some more filler trees. Oops. Or uh, perhaps not the trees. I'll, how about this is a kind of a good place for one of those uh, parks. I like to use um, the diagonal one, which is right about. Yes, I have lots of things in my menus. Uh, here it is. There we go. And that will appear as the season changes, as I mentioned last time. And I'll just put some trees to fill in the rest of this space. And. What else should I make? I think I will just continue some of these streets, perhaps. No reason in particular why I made this avenue into a uh, uh, RD6 instead of a TLA7. I mean, that would probably be more, probably be more uh, realistic for a suburban area like this, but um, I just like to make some variety as much as I can with my transportation, like put some transitions, because sometimes I'm not, I don't have enough of those, no real reason for it, but I know it's better to have the bigger one for traffic in this, but, um, I just think it looks nicer, I guess, sometimes. So I think, uh, I don't know if I'll continue this road over here. I guess I might as well, though. I'll just make this a not a T intersection, I'll make it a plus intersection instead. I used to have a mod uh, that made the um, 
arrows have the o text only underneath them, which you would see in uh, where I live, Michigan, and some other states in the United States. And I uh, really like that, but um, it didn't affect the uh, three tile networks. And I don't think it's been updated I, cause because for those, but um, when I reinstalled the new version of the network and on mod, it kind of removed those. So that's why I'm not using them right now. So I'll use one of these. Uh, I've used this recently, but I don't. Otherwise, other than that, I don't use the uh, grade crossing turning lanes. But uh, I don't know it's just a rare piece for me to use. Not really a good idea, I guess, to have a uh, grade crossing right by an intersection. I mean, people will probably stop on the tracks um, because uh, that stuff happens sometimes. Um, so I try to keep my grade crossings uh, somewhat far away from the intersections just whenever I can. But sometimes, I guess it's like it's realistic to have a road right next to parallel to a railroad track of any type. I believe I plopped this, if I plopped the intersection piece already, so, um, I'll just put an, uh, underpass here, I guess. Um, you know, actually what I'll do is, uh, make could make the highway go over, but then I'd have to use the uh, the, tran the height transitions instead of the on-slope. I'd, I'd rather not use the on-slope because, uh, because of this shoulder. It's kind of... Uh, well, you'd have to make another tile of raised land to fill that in, but... I don't know. Maybe I'll do that anyway kind of like to use uh, raised or raised land or uh, sunken land I guess instead of I'm just using the the, the raised transitions the height transitions um, so I guess I'll make the highway go uh, I'll make maybe make it go over the road. Well, then again, I guess it would be uh, maybe more cheap, I guess, to make it an underpass of the road because the highway is a wider network, I guess. But um, what I'd like to do is make it an overpass because these these look pretty urban, you know. But um, the overpasses, I don't even use. Uh, this anymore. Hardly ever use this because uh, it's so steep in such a short distance. I'm waiting for them to hopefully make a uh, 7.5 meter overpass transition because only uh, right now they only have an on-slope one for that height level. So yeah. Anyway, just continue this through here and have to have some weird looking sidewalk tiles, I guess, because it's an RHW6S. There's that empty space and it's covered up by that. It doesn't really look right for a suburb, but whatever. And whoa, that's very, uh... I almost have this lined up perfectly to connect to that road. Neighbor connection. I don't, so I think what I'll do is uh, I'll have, to, and I can't put it through this uh, puzzle piece. I could just move that, but um, I just like to curve my roads kind of randomly, I guess, like that maybe, and then curve it back afterwards after a while. I just, I don't know, it's just not necessary for any reason, but I like it because uh, it will just look more. Uh, aesthetically pleasing, I guess, when it's curved like that. 
I just like the look of that better, I guess. So, um, this is kind of a major, a main road, I guess, so, um, I'll continue that to this road, and, uh, that will be it for now. What I did here was I uh, made this an AVE2, put a median for the grade crossing, because uh, then you can't drive your car over to the other side and get around the crossing gate, but if you're already on the tracks, so you could keep going, so it's kind of a, just a measure to keep keep cars, keep people from doing that. So, um, I think I will put some more development. This is a good time, a good place to have some commercial development, I guess. Um, I think I already have some on the side of the border. You know, I think what I'll do is actually um, extend this TLA-7 a little while until about there, because then I'll have turning lanes. I got a bun I've got a bunch of uh, intersections with these uh, grid streets, I guess. Um, these uh, will have cars turning left a lot and probably blocking traffic more from that. So it would be a good idea to have the turning lane extend this far. And I've lost my override for the middle tile because of these two lips here, so I'll just put another starter piece. I don't know if what the official thing you're even supposed to do that the NAM team would recommend is for starter pieces, but I'm I always personally just uh, demolish them entirely even the uh, draggable stubs, I mean, after I've dragged everything out and there's enough length to make it stable. Because it's just, I don't know, it's just sometimes these will have rail dirt or whatever underneath them. I just like to get rid of them and keep it, because you can't make intersections if there's a starter stub anyway, so I, I usually get rid of those. Since these are minor streets, I will not extend them I won't make a bunch of uh, grade crossings with them, with this light rail line. So I've got, um, I could put a station right here for this light rail. That would probably be good, probably be a good idea because it's right next to the heavy barrel station, the commuter rail, and the uh, parking garage. And this rail line will, uh, it's a commuter rail that goes to the main city. There's a bridge across the river, that new river. So. That's already connected on the other side and everything. I will just um, zone right up to the rail, I guess. Well, no. Maybe that's not the best idea. I would like to have a fence. What I usually do is um, put such fence slots as these um, that have transparent textures somewhere up here. Yep, that's the right one. And uh, just put a regular chain link fence up against any any sort of railway I make, just for safety purposes. So I most of the time I'll be able to um, leave a tile for that, and it looks pretty bare with the without the base texture. So I put a I put a marimo plop trees to fill that area in. Are, I don't know. If, I, don't, I don't think I'm actually making this like a realistic uh, um, height. Uh, I, don't, I mean, it's not like it. I think these would grow in a mountain, mountainous area or something. But I just put them wherever it is in my city because they look the way they look. I don't know if it's the right area for them or whatever. But I usually use lodgepole, lodgepole pines and uh, subalpine fir trees. Um, from the CP tree controllers, cycle dog ones, to fill in most of my areas if I'm using MMP trees. 
otherwise, uh, like I did in the last couple of episodes, I would use uh, tree lots such as all of these, which have a base texture. So I think I should probably be more consistent generally when I'm making my trees because a lot of the time I ended up with like a third of them are season well not like a third, but some of them are seasonal, some of them are these two varieties, and some of them are with base textures and all these types of trees. So I don't know. I might figure out something to make. I mean I could just use a lot of these or something more often, but I don't usually, I guess. So, um, I could make these four tiles deep, though, to fill this in, like that. These lodgepole pines will really grow, out, grow outside of the, uh, the tile that they're plopped on, like these, this place in there. It's kind of annoying sometimes, I guess. See, it gets replaced because it extends beyond the boundary a lot, pretty often. But, um, well, actually, I think I will put a parking lot here. That's a thing you would find in a place, a sort of commercial type of area that you would uh, have a lot of there. So I just connect the street that's already there so I can have a an entrance to there it's a 90 degree bend so what we want here is a T entrance um directions but I, ac I accidentally did that the first time so let's continue with um, corner pieces um, here we go I'm never sure which is the left and which is the right I mean it's uh, left if you're facing the exit I guess this is the left one and that would be and this is the opposite, of course. It's kind of confusing sometimes, I guess. So there we go. One large parking lot. And some pause. Might as well put some trees right here. Have space for it. Yeah, 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 good. Uh, I'll definitely continue the residential lots through here. Uh, there's a mod that um, will make them all have uh, fences or hedges in their backyards and everything around the lot. But um, I don't have it right now, and I'll have to install that the next time I install things because that would be pretty good. I like, I really like these. Uh, I think their gas cooker is the person who made them. Houses it's called uh, UK Suburban Homes or something like that. But I these are kind of my favorites, along with this. And I really like it when I have two tiles deep and I get this kind of uh, filled-in looking, compact zone. water. Mm, very good. And I recently installed these uh, pipelines too for I guess industrial areas is where they would fit in. I'm pretty excited to use those at some point but I, I'll make an industrial area 
far to the east. Over at, not in the next tile, but the two tiles over from here. Because I'm continuing one from the, the next tile over, I'm going to continue into a port. Um, eventually. So, um, I could even continue the street through here, get rid of this parking lot section, and I could continue it like that. I would normally have, uh, maybe one right here continuing the grid, but, or whatever it would be called. It's not really a grid deck. Well, it is, but it's long blocks. I could divide it up like this, perhaps, but, uh, I think I will, actually. That. Oops, messed up. I meant to make that a large curve. Oops. Okay, here's how you do it. Uh, I'll just make a cul-de-sac here. I, uh, let's make it a normal cul-de-sac without the circle, larger size. Hmm. I think I'll make it three tile deep and then put a tree to divide it from the hotel. A tree lot, I mean. See, here I am again, uh, using this kind of tree and not this. I don't, I don't make them as consistent as I could, but I don't know, it's easier this way. Oh, that looks pretty good, I think. this street. You could put commercial development. I've already got some over here. Um, if I were to continue this uh, right here, it would have more residential fronting it. Well, hmm. this is, I could do this, but what about turning left street here. It would be a, uh, you can use the center turn lanes, so I don't know if I, let's put some park or something here, something large. Continue this, and, uh, yep. Let's make some random, uh, something like that. Or I can make another cold sack street splitting off there. And maybe I could put some noise walls um, to divide that, uh, this area from s the avenue. So I think I need to plop a, what do you call it, a construction lot, a new management lot, that's it, and wait a few months for that to appear in my menu. So let you look at that while it's waiting. be long enough, um, and I don't have any school overcrowding it looks like, so let's check that. And now I've got all these 
I'd rather not use those, honestly. I, I usually just leave the menu. I mean, that used to be something I'd use, but now I usually end up just leaving the lot, plop to my city, and having them in my menu all the time anyway. It's kind of, it's not like it's gonna save it from being cluttered. It's already overly cluttered in my installation, so. I might figure something out. I've been trying to use the um, Daily's Advanced Menu Navigator mod. And uh, I've just been having a little trouble um, adding all my lots to that, which is, if you don't know, it's a, it's a mod that will put, I've already got some, I think. You can open this menu and uh, go to all of your lot, ploppable lots through there, through different levels, so it's, it's pretty clever, because compared to this, you would scroll through everything. I really should get around to doing that though, it's just, it would probably take a while for my amount of plugins. It would make it a lot more convenient in the long run though. But, um, anyway, I think I will put some more commercial lots here. Oops. Okay, this seems a good area to fill with trees. division between the residential and the commercial areas. And I got three of the same building again, but whatever. It'll hopefully be uh, something else changed in the future to more variety. So there we have it. I filled this entire area in so far. And um, I feel like I'm maybe running a little long on this episode. I haven't been watching the clock or anything, so um, I think I, I think I'll don't crash on me. <laughs> I think I'll probably end the episode the episode right about now. And start up the next the next one with this area and the rest of uh, whatever comes next. So um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode.